Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing another demo that's made available at uh, Steam Next Fest. Uh, again, a title that had been sitting on my wish list in Steam for a little while. It's basically um, an XCOM-like. I think at this point XCOM definitely is its kind of own genre, isn't it? This sort of turn-based, tactical, squad-based uh, game. Uh, and this is one where your uh, superheroes, but the superheroes are kind of like ordinary people with superpowers, so maybe a bit grittier than, uh, say, a Marvel su superhero type game. Um, and yeah, I did, I did play a bit of the demo already, um, mainly because I thought I was recording, and in fact I wasn't. Um, so I'm going to go back and, and restart the demo from the beginning again, because it, it, it was really good. I really enjoyed it, and it's one that uh, is going to remain on my wish list until it's uh, released, and one I'll no doubt uh, check out when it is. So without further ado, let's begin. Twenty years ago, the supervillains won. Capes, the debut title from Spitfire Interactive, is a turn-based superhero tactics game where you put together a team of young heroes to take the city back. And it explains that this demo automatically unlocks additional characters, abilities and upgrades as you progress. And that's important because um, you play the first mission and you get a new hero. And then we're going to see that uh, for the next mission you actually just receive another hero and it levels up your uh, characters to a certain level and unlocks a couple of other new skills rather than sort of doing it organically as you uh, progress, proceed through the game as you would when it's released. They want you to see um, a little bit of what it's like in the early game and then a little bit more of what it's like once you, you know, you're a bit further into it, I think. Um, so yeah, so let's, uh, let's jump in. Ah, this is actually uh, the previous game I started. Right, so this is actually the game where I was. I don't know how to sort of restart it, but, but, in here, in the missions roster, you can actually simulate uh, the previous missions, I guess, to um, maybe practice your skills or perhaps just maybe it unlocks new experience and stuff doing so. I don't really know. But let me go back and do that. I'm just, I'll simulate the first mission that was in the demo which kind of introduces a lot of stuff. The main monitor wildly flashes. Alert! Spatial reorg and remote cognition detected. What the hell does that mean? Means playtime's over. You two are up. Someone is out there using powers. Make sure you bring them in before they fall into company hands. You heard him, Diamond Dome. Let's roll! I decided she's a bit cockney. <laughs> Um, so, I, so I kind of do understand uh, the game mechanics. So I'm not sure if this simulation will provide the same tutorial elements, but I'll I'll talk talk us through um, everything as it happens. And the first thing I mention is the graphics are really quite nice for for this type of game for for an indie production, you know. Uh, Sarkar Residence, Kensington Heights, and you could already see there's a bit of a like sort of comic book presentation, uh, which is kind of cool. Are you sure we're doing the right thing here? How do you mean? You know, joining up with his weird old man's obsessive revenge trip? Coming out here and roping other people into this? Not even slightly. If the company gets their hands on that kid, they'll get vanished like every other soup in this town. Dark strange, but he's got to be better than that. So putting that kid into our crazy lifestyle is the lesser of two evils. I sure hope so. Shit, too late. Huh? This is the company. Illegal superhuman activity has been detected at this location. Surrender the cape and nobody gets hurt. Leave us be. We've done nothing wrong. What do we do now? What about Australia? There's a lot of agents. Can we take them? Suspect is non-compliant. Terminal force authorized. Okay, boys, kick it in and fuck them up. Blow the door out and form up. I said, leave us alone. <sighs> back up. We need back up. Now's our chance. Maybe she's Australian. Let me take the lead. Okay, so it is going to tutorialize things here again. So, um, as with these types of games, you get move points, which are uh, represented here. 
and you get action points, which are represented here in this bar. Um, you also, if you position your uh, heroes fairly close, I don't know quite exactly what the range is, but fairly close together, you get offered particular new um, combo powers, which can be quite powerful. And as you make use of a particular skill, which is different for each hero, that's why I'm being slightly uh, head, head, uh, vague about that, uh, you can charge up your ultimate power and unleash that when it's fully charged. Uh, so enemies can pick up and carry weapons, so one of the things we're going to find that is, is good to do is actually to disarm them. And, and all the heroes I've seen so far have at least one skill that allows them to uh, disarm enemies. Uh, it's not like XCOM, you can't uh, switch between um, heroes. Is, there's a turn order we see on the right here, so our two heroes go first. Facet, who's the guy, and then Rebound, who's the girl. And then all the enemies will get a turn. So if I click the move button here, we can see his range of movement. So let's uh, let's go up to this agent. And let's try a disarm. Well, let's quickly look at his skills. So he's got Crystallize, which is kind of a damage reduction thing on him. Uh, Shard Strike, damage and knockback all enemies in range. Uh, that's a disarm. Uh, growth, he can block a cell or prevent an enemy uh, from moving on the next turn. Prevents opportunity attacks. I didn't actually use that in my play playthrough this mission. Uh, shield shard. Prevent an ally from taking damage from the next attacker. This is actually his new skill that he got from leveling up. Uh, so again, I've not used that yet. Um, but we're going to uh, first of all disarm this guy. So we can see he's, he's, he's dropped his gun at the feet of this guy now. And I'm going to use shard strike to damage and knock back these two. There we go. So they're down. They've lost a bit of health, and one of them's disarmed. Uh, we can actually move again. So let's, he's he's designed to be a frontline character, um, someone who sort of takes the heat and helps others sort of not take damage as much. So they get up in their faces. Rebound I quite liked. Um, so range damage that causes a sing this what was the good one? Teleport spin. This is a good one. Uh, so what this does is you can move to a, an area. So let's say let's say there. I want to see if I can hit both. If I do it to here, can I hit both of them? Ah, no, I just hit him. Um, but she does have another action. We've actually got a, a team combo here. Um, increase the damage of this. So we can actually teleport behind this guy. Do a big attack. Didn't actually kill him. Interestingly, he did a sort of half a square of damage. But we do still have the movement, so with her, she's a bit of more of a glass cannon type character. Can we actually um, get her behind cover? I don't think we really can, uh, but maybe if we maybe if we come here, we'll kind of be a bit out of the range of the guns. And we, when we're done, we click next. Okay, he's got he took a shot. You're only making me more powerful. And he's actually telling the truth there because, you know, we spoke about different characters can charge their ultimates in different ways. Well, this character, Facet, uh, he charges his by taking damage. So we can see he's already got two squares filled now for his ultimate. Right, so it's back to him, though. Uh, and he hopefully can kill both these characters. And um, what's his... Okay, so his combo move with a rebound is to teleport somewhere. I don't think that's necessary. These guys, are, these guys are up close, aren't they? Um, I don't think I can get them to a point where he'll hit both with that. All right, let's uh, let's get rid of this guy. There we go. And as for this one. Maybe we'll move up, and maybe we'll crystallize, so we'll take uh, less damage. There we go. So he's got a 50% damage reduction now. I'm thinking about taking on these guys, you see. So with rebound, I mean, this should be fairly simple. We can see her strike move in action. It'll teleport, get behind, and finish off. She's still got a teleport spin is quite nice. She can actually go here and I think she'd hit both of these and she'll still have her movement afterwards. So let's do that. 
So although she's... I can feel the power building. Haven't quite nailed her accent yet. Um, so she's done damage to both. And her teleport's really strong because, you know, she does that. And then she gets her full movement as well. So let's actually move her further back here. Maybe behind these... Oh, did that, why didn't that work? Further back. Oh, I clicked on the bins, I think. There we go. Right, we got our damage reduction on now. So we took half a square of damage there, I think. This guy's coming up here. It didn't have the range to it. I don't think the AI is taking it easy on us because it's the first mission, but maybe he didn't get quite close enough on his movement. Anyway, so what's this guy got? Uh, he doesn't actually have a weapon, interestingly. Um, I never used this. What do Block a cell or prevent an enemy from moving on their next turn. Alright, well. How long does the crystallized move? I don't know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's there until we take it off, perhaps. And now let's... Oh, no, no I was going to do the crystallized thing, so let's stop him moving. So he's stuck there now, I see. Yeah. Um, we could move... But we'd actually end up sort of in melee range with this guy. So let's stay here so he can't attack us. Now we've got rebound, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's go behind this guy. Finish him off. Use our movement. And then do the teleport spin, maybe? Oh, <laughs> we freed him! Oh no! Uh, didn't I, yeah, okay, well I, do, I wasn't expecting that to happen, so... We can see he's actually within range of um, the combo thing now, interestingly. So they don't have to be that close even for it to for it to work. But let's use this. Let's finish him off. <laughs> Last one down. How dare you come here! We're good people! My boy has done nothing wrong! Leave us be! Mum, be cool. These two are... the resistance, I guess? They're gonna ask me to join them. I'm gonna say yes. I love you. I feel like we're late to the party here. How come you know all that? And who said we wanted you to join up? We're real exclusive. No, you're not. I pulled it out of your mind as you approached. He's hard to read, but you are very loud. We better get going, moving. There's not a lot of time. Athav, wait! You can't go out there. What if they see what you are? What if the company takes away my only son? It's okay, Mum. We knew we couldn't hide forever. It's time. More agents. Let me handle this. Now, Mindfire, he's pretty cool. Uh, I liked Mindfire a lot when I played him. Um, but basically, his deal... Okay, so it, it, it'll stay up till I, do, till I actually do it. His deal is that he can make enemies vulnerable. So he wants us to use this skill and click on him. So it's actually we're going to do more damage with the next attack. Uh, now we're going to use our second one to do telekinesis. So we're going to damage a single target at range. And he, he charges his ultimate um, I forget exactly I couldn't see because the thing was in the way here we go Mindfire's barrage ultimate oh well he's actually charged I think it's just causing damage charges his ultimate so let's do this this is his ultimate Ugh. remind me not to get on your bad side is that the last of them we got a bounce before more show about that. Right. Okay, so we're back to the top of the round and we've got this guy. If I move him as far as he can, he might be able to teleport the remaining distance with this skill. And he can. Uh, too well. Let's go in with up to the gun guy. And with our remaining action point, let's disarm him. There we go. 
Right, now it's um, rebound. So with Mindfire, she's got... Mindfire distracts target, turning them away and ensure that strike deals backstab damage. That's pretty cool. Let's try that on this guy. We're going to do two damage. Huh? Blam! From behind. Nice. She teleported back with that skill. Um, I mean, if we just do that, it'll kill him. So we'll do that. And let's just swing her around behind this car. There we go. Right now it's mind fire. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now it's mind fire. So. With Facet, it increases his damage and range on Telekinesis, it looks like. So we're going to need to move. Maybe move to here. He doesn't have a lot of health, so we don't want to make him too vulnerable. Uh, but talking of vulnerable... Uh, yeah, let's get this guy vulnerable. He's got a lot of health. How much damage can we do to him? With the combo move, quite a lot. Nice. Getting closer. Yeah, what does it say? Um, any hero's attack on a vulnerable enemy charges his ultimate. So we've made this guy vulnerable now. So any any attacks on him will charge Mindfire's ultimate. Uh, we'll move away one. We can't do an awful lot. But they're all melee now, so... That's cool. We'll soak up that. Yeah, she got to Mindfire and got an attack on... Okay, so this guy. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is uh, come down here. Oh, there's opportunity attacks. Okay, it didn't um, explain that before. I didn't come across that before. Okay, but we'll get, the upshot is we're going to kill this guy. I think they did a bit of a combo there the, on the rebound. Oh, he's got one more. So let's prevent... Hmm. Or well, we could freeze someone. Let's freeze him in place, and we won't, <laughs> we won't free him this time. And then we'll move a bit closer to hopefully block some attacks. He's actually got his ultimate. What's his ultimate? Creates a growth on all enemies in range and mobilize them. Alright. That'll do. I quite like that you can use your ultimate as well as your two uh, attack points. That's quite good. So actually, we don't want to attack these guys, do we? Unless we're going to kill them. I mean, if she comes here... Yeah, see, we can't kill these guys. Although, I think we'd get a second attack on them, wouldn't we? So that might be alright. Huh? Flam. Oh, okay, she's back here now. If we do this... Let's just do it here. We'll only hit this one, but it'll mean that this, we don't sort of break this guy out. Yeah. So we'll leave it like that. Keep the pressure up. They can't stop all of us. Go, oh, can't we? Uh, okay, we do have to select next. Fine. Oh, she had her ultimate. I should have seen what that was, shouldn't I? Okay, well, we're back to mine fire. Increase the damage to him. Let's put the vulnerable on first. And then we'll do this, which is a kill. Blammo. There could be more. We better get moving quick. Nice. I I have to go, Mum. Be strong. All this city is upside down. No son should have to tell his mother to be strong. Go. Do what is right, even when what is right is hard. And you two, take care of my son. He is just a baby. Mum, I'm not. I'm ready for this. Huh? All good? What? Uh, y yes, of course. Don't start jumping at shadows. You need to fit in. 
Cool. So that was the first mission. So that, that's as much as I played already um, before this video. Rebound and Facet show Mindfire to his room. The high-tech, fancy superhero boarding rooms of the Lodge have long since fallen into disrepair, converted to temporary dwellings. Covered with faded clippings, some newspapers and dust. So I live here now? Yep, welcome to the glitzy lifestyle of the city's last superheroes. Superheroes are dead. Have been for a long time. Oh, wait until you meet the old man. You're gonna get along great. Don't let the fact that we're out of fashion put you off. Someone has to sort this shit out, why not us? The three heroes sit in the large open space that was once the board table of the lodge. The seat backs, dusty and broken, still display the logos of the heroes that once sat upon these chairs. Twenty years ago, this used to be the meeting place for the world's most powerful heroes. Long forgotten, nobody cares. Now there's three of us. Want to let us know what you're planning? I'm planning to do what we always should have done. Make this a free sea. If I have to rip it bloody from the hands of the company, that's just a bonus. Once you're rid of them, who's going to run stuff? Now I'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Awesome. A power vacuum and anarchy, eh? Sounds like a great plan. Good job. Yep. I no, don't give two sloppy shits, this ain't a democracy. Besides, we've got bigger fish to fry now. The company knows you're about. We're gonna need more soldiers ready for the fight. Get some sleep. You'll need it. Mission complete. So we've actually got six. So actually, um, these SPs, as far as I could tell, so we get XP, which levels up your characters to levels 1, 2, 3, etc. The SP is like um, training points. So this is the, their uh, skills screen. Uh, now it's been disabled for the demo, uh, upgrading abilities, but I'm pretty sure that you can uh, buy new abilities for your heroes or upgrade existing abilities for your heroes with these SPs that you get from missions. And actually that simulation, it was the second time I've played it and it, it gave me another 3 SP for doing it. So that's pretty cool. Um, Following the end of the first mission, we get given this new hero, Weathervane. He's kind of like a, a lightning mage type thing, I guess? I, I don't really know. I haven't played his mission yet. So, without further ado, then, let's go in and see what this new mission is. Cross lines. Got some. Facet gets a call from an old friend. There's some optional objectives that we will... No hero KOs. Okay. The round limit. But let's start. Call comes in over Facet's comms. Bino! I don't know whether he's English or American. Man, it's great to hear from you. But how the heck did you get my digits? I've got clients downtown and uptown these days. Anything that's worth knowing, somebody knows. Besides, your mum told me. Here I was going to give you credit for being a crack investigator. Not me. I've always been a better trial lawyer than detective. That's been obvious since law school. Serious for a mo, though. You trained in civil justice, and now you're out punching bad guys and leaping buildings with a single bound. How you doing? Your ma was worried. It's pretty worrying if I'm real about it. Some days I don't even know whether what we're doing is helping. Well, about that. A client has some info on a local boss. That's why I've come looking you up. Spill. Oh, he's an engineer for the rail company, but really, that's one of Wildstar's fronts. I'm worried they're going to try and do something to him before he can get to the witness stand. Say no more. I'll keep an eye out. Facet leaves. Hey, Facet! Hmm. Right, we're going to select our character. Facet is locked in. He's required for this mission. But we're going to select our other heroes that we have available. We've only got four at the moment does suggest that you're going to get a, a much larger team and you're going to have to make decisions about who we, uh, how you take, who you take out on missions, which would be quite cool. Might be some favourites, might just be some good combos of characters that you like to take out, don't know. Boss says to make sure you don't talk. Please, I won't tell them anything. Yeah, right. Only one way to make sure of that, right boys? Shit, there's more heat than Beano let on. That is a lot of goons to take on solo. 
Too much to handle, eh? Guess just as well we run as a pack. Did you follow me? A little bit. For doctrine? Nah, just for the view. Doc wanted to make sure nobody went out alone, not after Rebound headed out. I handled that just fine. Way to spoil the moment. I'm guessing um, in the full game maybe she has like a solo mission between these two missions? Speaking of spoil- oh okay I didn't catch that. If we don't do something they're gonna do a number on this guy. Right, I'll draw their attention away from the witness. You take him out. Alright crystal boy, lead the way. Right, there goes the stealthy approach huh? Check the witness. Uh, complete mission before the fourth round. Okay, that's interesting. Charge and use facets ultimate, so we're going to want him to take damage. Use his shield shard. Oh, we've got a little combo here. Uh, that's increasing the knockback. No hero KOs. Okay, well, we knew that. He could teleport, but I think he can just move in, can't he? What we probably want to do is um, crystallize him. At well, let's crystallize him after moving, because that slows him down. Let's go here, we can take some heat on ourselves. Uh, we'll crystallize. Um, it's got a lead pipe. Do we disarm? I think maybe we just... We're only doing one damage. Might be better to disarm him. Ooh! Also got some defense against disarm. That's that blue bar. I haven't seen that before. Okay. Mind fire, what have you got? Uh, okay, I don't think he needs to teleport. Oh, well let's. Oh, okay, we need to move in a little bit closer. Do the vulnerable. I'm kind of focusing on this big guy first. He might have another block. He's going to take three damage now. That's good. My power is growing. Okay, let's just let's move him back behind here. He's a bit, again a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, weather vane looks like he's got a bit more about him. So what can he do? Chain lightning. Damage a target in range. Damage arts to additional targets in range. Includes barrels. Ooh, <laughs> that's looking like quite a. Ooh, I wonder how much it arcs. Pulling closer, pushing, causes disarm. Um, that one doesn't. Uh, with facet, creates a shield that is pushed by gust and explodes on impact, causing damage and knockback to an area. Ooh. Punch. Punch with mine fire adds one initiative to weather bane. Maybe that's for the following turn. All right, well, we're going to try this chain lightning, shall we? And I'm not quite sure of the best one to target. I, can we do him? No, I guess I'm not. Still not in range. Um, oh, it actually shows you where it's going to arc, and it goes between all these enemies and the barrels. Nice. Okay, and uh, his ultimate. Each target hit by chain lightning charges Weathervane's ultimate, so he's got four charges now on that. This guy's on fire. Um, he's actually going to take a quarter square burn damage at the start of his turn, so he's dead. Basically. We could pull him closer, this guy, and put him into the fire, or this guy. Let's try that. Let's put him into the fire. Now he's on fire. Um, weather vane. I don't want him to be light on fire. So let's just uh, we'll leave him there then. We'll leave him there. We still got rebound. I'd quite like to get this guy. Not bad. Increase damage with facet. Or oh, distract. Yeah, that's, that's going to kill him. Let's do the distract with mine fire. Huh? Blammo. 
boss gone. Um, I mean, she could disarm, but honestly... Oh, well, maybe we'll use this. Because uh, we could kill this guy as well. And let's just tuck her back in behind here. Alright. Got an attack opportunity on this guy. He's picked up the pipe. Some damage there on that goon. Oh, he's attacked the uh, witness. Oh, we've got some more coming in, it looks like. And they're by the barrels. They're trying to rescue the snitch. We can't let him talk. Shit, more of them. Better keep those crystals coming. I don't like her voice. When I play the new, re when I play the full release, I'll try and think of a better voice for that character. Oh, I want Weathervane to go next because he's gonna go blammo on all these. All right. Well, let's just do the punch and knock back on this guy. He won't go into the fire, unfortunately. Um, what else can we do to him? And because he's not going to die, maybe we just crystallize him. Keep him there. Alright, that'll do. Now it's mind fire. Oh, I want Weathervane to go. Uh, well, there's this guy with more health. Maybe we could make him vulnerable. Okay, we're going to need to get a bit closer. So whatever explosion results will have a bit more of an effect on him. A knockback. I mean, it's not that necessary, but it will do a bit of damage. Or maybe we just do the damage. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do next, and then it's Weathervane's turn. Let's move him in as far as we can, maybe to like here. Got the burn on, unfortunately. Oh, it's not gonna. Is it gonna hit that guy? Doesn't look like it is, but he'll probably get hit in the explosion, won't he? <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, he's dead. I think he'll be dead. But we can make sure, maybe. We do a little. Oh, we can't. It has to be in a straight line. Yeah, okay, there's not a lot he can do then. Maybe I should have moved a different way. Oh, he's got his ultimate though. Deal damage to all enemies in range, killing, hitting each enemy once. Alright, well this is going to be a wipe, I think, for them. They're all dead. Um, is there anything else to do? I don't know. Let's just end his turn then. Oh, there's more coming. We need to get her a bit closer. I don't know if she's going to be within range of anything. I mean, that's probably it for now. Have any of them got guns? I think they're all melee, aren't they? So let's just leave that now. Right, well, one of our tasks is to use Fascist's ultimate. So he's going to have to take some damage here. Let's remove the crystalline. Just so I needed to move a bit further. You can teleport maybe to over here. Let's try and uh, let's just try and get him a bit punched, I think, just so he can charge his ultimate up. I don't want him to get knocked out, though, is anything. Mind fire. Maybe we'll just. Um, hmm. Okay. He can teleport. So maybe we'll do that instead. Just position him here, ready to move up next turn. Oh, that's Weathervane. They're on fire! <laughs> Let's move him up there. Damn, could 
I um I undo. I don't think I can undo. I, what I would have wanted to do is um, teleport there with rebounds skill and then get up here and cast thingy on that. Oh, I can't do that. So. Okay, so he's going to take some damage, but we want that because we want him to charge his ult ultimate. Oh, wow. Um, but it is charged, so we don't want to kill him. Kill anyone. Um, get a little backstab on this guy. Um, let's do this. Bring it back down. That's mind fire. I should go his ultimate. I can't get up there. Maybe we can teleport. Um, let's do his ult. I'd actually like him to take on that big guy, but oh, we do have some movement saying that. Bring him here. Get this guy with the ult. And then, is there a knockback? Which one is knockback? Oh, it's going to be this one, isn't it? With the veins one. Okay, let's just. Now it's Facet's turn, so we want to do this ultimate, which a mob well, all that does is immobilize enemies, but okay. Okay, we haven't completed, the we failed that complete mission before the fourth, I mean, I feel like we've taken care of these guys pretty quickly, but um, perhaps not. It says to use this a few, uh, three times, let's use that once here. Use his crystallize as well. He's got a bit low on health. Yeah, we'll just leave that there. Now it's weather vein, so I would like him to get up here because, and I don't know how desirable this is, but we're going to do this. Yeah, we did blow up facet a little bit. <laughs> All right, he's out of actions though, so I guess it's his turn. It's up to them now. One's dead. Ooh, getting a little bit low on old facet there. Can we target this guy? Huh? Blammo. Can we hit this guy? Okay, so I think it took us to the fifth turn. Didn't use the, uh, didn't get a chance to use the shield as much as I would have wanted. Good riddance. Oh, thank you for saving me. I never wanted to take the stand, but someone has to stand up to these criminals. You've shown me that we can stand up to them. I'll tell everyone how you saved me. He's uh, got some sort of neck issue going on. Just be careful out there. Nice job, man. I just didn't realise just how, uh, I don't know, how dynamic that would all be. It's like a good action movie. It's way more kinetic when it's you they're shooting at, trust me. Aren't you going to introduce me? Oh yeah, this is Mindfire, Rebound and Weatherbean. This team is Beano. Pleased to meet you. I understand we still at code name levels of familiarity here, but yours are much cooler than mine. Let's try making her Scottish, maybe. How'd you end up being called Beano? Long story. It's not that long. Embarrassing story. Oh, now you have to tell me. Uh, not today. We've got places to be. Thanks again. And a pleasure to meet you, Rebound. 
I know my outfit ain't as skin tight, but he might at least have said goodbye. Don't get jealous, mind fire. I don't date co-workers. I wasn't. I know. But you're fun to tease. I don't know. We'll think about uh, come the full game. I'll put some thought into it. Mission complete. Ooh. Yeah, so you get SPs for these um, optional objectives. So I only got three, didn't get two. Uh, I could have used the shield shard up more, I suppose. Um, but the round limit was very tight on that one. I don't know how, much I, how I could have done it much faster than I did. Only one XP each, so the XP is building up a little bit slowly. Um, which is interesting. Uh, we'll click on missions. I think we'll probably leave it here, but let's just see. There is another mission. Unlock new hero Mercurial and various abilities and upgrades for your team. Okay, let's do that. So we've unlocked Mercurial. Facets retaliate and counter strike upgrades, counter attack upgrades. Mindfire's focus ability and ultimate uses upgrade. Rebounds unaware backstab and teleport spin backstab up damage upgrades. Weathermane's leap ability, gust disarm and shock passive. Okay. Mercurial class striker. A well-trained fighter with a keen strategic mind, Mercurial has found herself aligned with the goals of Doctrine's crew, but shocked by the lack of training and skills. Her superior speed allows her to position herself on the battlefield, knocking enemies into hazards and away from other teammates. Every attack she makes charges her ultimate. Well, that's quite good. The next mission, Greater Power, takes place further into the story near the beginning of the second act. This mission will challenge you to use all the skills you've learned thus far and give an opportunity to try out different hero combinations. Good luck. Um, well, I think it makes sense to, to do that probably, doesn't it? Let me just quickly uh, have a look at how long the demo has taken us so far. 43 minutes. All right. Well, I, th I think we've got time to do this then. Assuming it's not going to be like an hour-long mission. Oh, here we go. It's a hard... The, the two we've done so far were rated as easy. Uh, and this one's rated as hard. So we have... Maybe that... Ah, this, see, this is worth 6 XP. Maybe the harder missions are worth more. More citizens are being pulled from the streets by the company. Option objectives. Stealth KOs. Disarm. Use team-ups. Ultimates. No hero KOs. Okay. Let's do this. Weathervane's there. He's pretty cool. We like him. Uh, let's take the new one. Let's take uh, Mindfire I quite like. I do like Minotaur, which means leaving Facet at back, but he... Although I like Facet, he um, doesn't seem to do as much damage as the others. I've possibly selected too much of a glass cannon crew here, but I, I guess we'll find out. No mercy for terrorists. Show your f oh, she may have said something, but I skipped it. Show your face and get in a cell. What's his voice? I fucking told you. They're taking anyone with a touch of power right off the streets. Just like they did to me. We should scope the environment. Ensure we have the best position before we engage. These kids play for keeps. You do that. I'm going to drop 40,000 volts right through that guy's dick. We're saving that kid. TJ, wait. Shit. I guess we're making a fight of it then. Let's move. Let's move. Him going on about fried dicks was a bit much. We for sure need a better rallying cry than that. Quit it, you two. We don't have time. Ooh, she's quick. Stealth. Unaware enemies do not attack or pursue heroes, and are vulnerable to extra damage when attacked. Defeat alert enemies before their turn to prevent them setting off the alarm. Alright. So, how does that manifest? Are we taking it here? Okay, oh, okay, so here on the... If we just move our... Hover our cursor over him, he's unaware. Vulnerable, plus one damage. Comes alert if attacked or a hero enters their view. Well, he's looking that way. Um, if we look over here, we've also got one guy up here who's currently unaware. So we can try and kill this guy. OK. 
Okay. So, he's got... We're going to do plus one damage on him. If we did this, that's damage one. Damage and knockback an adjacent enemy. Mercurial adds one disarm. Leap in a straight line. Oh, that's quite cool. I'm not seeing a lot of damage here is the only thing. How are we going to damage him? That's a damage and a disarm, so maybe that's good to do. Oh, we can't do it now. So we need to kill him. So he's going to raise the alarm now. That's what this exclamation mark is, right? So now we need to kill him before his turn. So we could electrocute him. If we push him again, does that do any damage? It might do. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, well, let's leave, let's leave Weathervane for now. So this is uh, Mercurial. What are her powers? So she can quick hands, damage and disarm an enemy, move in a straight line. That's a, a dash. Uh, rushing kick, move towards and damage a single target, knocking them back. Damage one, disarm two. Uh, push one. Okay, well, that sounds good. Damage and knock back an adjacent enemy. Alright, what if she just moves, moves? Do that. Oh, she's quick. Uh, let's see what this does. Cool, but well, he's down. She can't move up there, but um, other people probably could. But let's leave her there for now. Then we've got Mind Fire. We can get to this guy. What's this? Focus. Gain an additional action and the option to reuse any ability at the cost of all movement. Ooh. Can tele teleport and get us in. I don't think we need to be right in melee range. Cool. Uh, so let's use focus. That sounds good. So he doesn't need any more movement. Got another ability. So we could make him vulnerable. Will he notice that? I don't think he did. And now let's do this. Oh that kill that's a kill. Boom. Nice. Okay. So we've got this teleport one now. Can't quite get in range, but if she moves a bit first. Can we then. That's the extra backstab damage. Let's try that. Is that a kill? That's a kill. There we go. Nice. Alright, well, that went pretty well, didn't it? up a bit more. Actually got another action, but I don't think we need to use that right now. Oh god, this up here. They've got little view cones. Oh. Can I sort of see what's going on on this roof? Not terribly easily, it must be said. Um. Hmm. Gonna want to take get rid of these roof guys first, aren't we? Surely. Um, so who have we got? We've got Weather Vane. What can he do? He can teleport, and he can also. Can he just get up here using this? Kind of. I mean, he could. I wonder if his arc ability can use that barrel. Just 
focused on that guy. Because okay, we're at the edge of the map, it's a little bit tricky to do this. So I think if we leave it till the next turn, he's just going to get spotted. So maybe what I'll do is just a punch. I didn't expect that. They just punched him. <laughs> punched him clean off the roof. Wow. Okay, go weather vane, I guess. All right. How are we going to get her up here? She can get quite far. Now she only got one action. Moving a straight line. She's got this rushing kick. Damage, disarm, range, push. He's not in range. He's not in range of it. Um, no, that's melee. Damn, I was kind of counting on that. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to have to leave her. I think when they move, they're going to spot our guys, unfortunately. Just out of range of everything. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I think do this, but like, just to get on the roof. That's it. Oh, he's, he went down. Holy crap. I might have got away with this. I, mean, I presume they're not going to be alerted by the bodies because, you know, we're going to be leaving a trail of those. Who have we got? So we've got Weather Vane. Maybe we try again just to punch him off the roof. That's not a bad little maneuver, was it? He does have two bars of what is probably armor. But it worked last time. And then we can try the disarm one as well. There he goes. Oh, he lived. He fell off the roof, but he survived. Damn. What do we do about that? We can go here. That would be our action. I mean, we'd go there, but you know, there's nothing else we could do. Can't target him with that. All right, we'll see what one of the other heroes can do, maybe. So we've got Mercurial. She could teleport to here, maybe. I mean, I th but I think we probably want Mind Fire there, don't we? Who was this guy? Uh, she could maybe teleport here. Or can she just move there? She can actually just move here. Let's just do that. And we'll... That's not much damage. So let's do a thrust and then we'll follow it up with a rushing kick, maybe. Oh, it's not very much damage. Damn, I was hoping for a bit more on that. Okay, well we've got two we've got two problems now. <laughs> um He's here. Is he going to be in range of barrage? I hope. Well, he does have movement as well, in fairness. So let's do that. 
That is a kill. Let's bring him in here. Okay. I think this should be okay because of her teleport attack. I'm hoping. even brings her back. Right, so all the alert enemies have been disarmed. So, well, dead. They've been disarmed because we've killed them. Um, it says we've only defeated two unaware enemies, but I guess because we haven't killed them in one hit. Which is quite hard to do. Um, I guess we leave that. They're going to walk around a bit. They might see our heroes. Look at, he's, look at the visible squares. <laughs> We're just out of range. Okay. It's a weather vane. You can actually just jump down there. Still get his movement in. I don't think these guys move. So let's get him ready to, to climb up this ladder next turn. And that's fine. Now we've got um, this character. Mercurial. Lost view of the roof, unfortunately. But again, maybe it's more about sort of positioning for next time. So we'll leave it there. Mind fire. Similar, let's bring him over. I, hopefully the ones on this right-hand roof won't be able to sort of see these squares. And then we've got Rebound, who's a bit more of a problem. But because of her teleport attack, I think that's okay. I don't know if we could even go there, but it will look... Oh, it's a kill! Oh, but those others will see them, surely. I mean, we have to, though, don't we? Nice. Actually, she... Oh, no, but she does have another skill. God, if she just goes... Can I actually teleport her? Can I just teleport her there? No. It's only a... Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna probably going to alert these two guards. May alert. It may alert everyone in the map. I haven't used any ultimates yet. Yeah, I think we've been discovered. Oh, we haven't. Oh, no, this guy has. Um, so we want. Maybe Weatherbane should go for this guy. actually do a lot of damage with most of his skills, does he? Maybe the push thing will be good? Then we can try and zap him? I don't think I can. No. I can't just shove him, can I? Okay, well, I think that's his turn. Right, so we have two issues now. I think Mindfire will be able to take care of him, so let's get her up here. Uh, let's do punch, and then we'll do that one. Might be able to get him off the roof here. Oh, he's down there. He is alerted. I think it'll be okay, though. Oh, we've got our ultimate. Okay, I can't read what it says. 
Act more frequently for a number of turns. Alright. So what does that do then? Didn't give us any more action for Oh no, okay. I thought I clicked on it. But. All right, maybe that comes in next case. So we've got to get rid of this guy. I think making him vulnerable will help. And then we've got it's, it is a kill. Out of action is the only thing. Is it either or? It probably is, isn't it? Maybe we'll get him in a decent position for next time on these two guys. So he doesn't have to move. Right, now it's rebound. Jittery. Can we just um, do this? I wonder. I think so. I thought perhaps you needed line of sight for that, but I think actually you don't no, you need to. Well, you know what? Let's just let's just bring it down. Let's off go. Right now it's her again. Oh yeah, look, she's uh, she's more often in the turn order. That's what it does. Okay. Um, get that, maybe. Can we? No, it's blocked. It's interesting. You can't move through other heroes. Um, very interesting. I mean, unfortunately. I think we've handled this pretty well so far, you know. Uh, I don't know who else is on ultimates at the moment. No one, it looks like. So, Weather Vane. Just wondering if that might go up there. Sorry, if he teleports there, maybe shoves this guy, then zaps. That might get them all. It's a risky, it's a risky strategy, Cotton. Let's uh, see if it pays off. Um, all right, so we'll need. Mm. Oh, yeah, he can't do both. Does the skills thing? All right, well, we can at least get an attack on this guy, can't we? To disarm. I don't know what the initiative stuff does. Let's just try it because I don't really know what the initiative thing does. It's pretty well. Actually, let's move him out of the way. Right now, it's mercurial. So if we move her to here, we can use our rushing kick. Ooh, it's not a kill. wasn't a kill, which is a bit unfortunate. We'll leave that for now. Mind fire. I'll do that. Oh, he's alerted now. I guess disarming him was going to gain some attention. <laughs> uh, we could focus, because we're in good range of him. So we get two actions now. He is vulnerable, so let's use telekinesis. And we can do that again. Oh, I like that focus ability, that's nice. Boom, here he goes. 
Alright, now I think we just need to do a backstab on this guy. Any backstab will do. Um, and now I guess move us somewhere like this, just so everyone's teaming up a bit more often. We've actually got the team ups thing now. Uh, I've only used one ultimate. I think Minefire is getting quite close to being able to use his. Back to us. So, oh, okay, it's actually um, back to Mercurial. Oh, and Weathervane's back in the mix as well. Interesting. So this guy. I guess we could teleport here. Oh, you know, if we, um, yeah, if we kick him between those barrels, Weathervane can um, explode them. That'll do for her turn. Now, Weathervane. I think this should be okay. I think he does need line of sight. This should be okay. Is it not? Can we move one more? Right. Oh, I didn't kill him. He's not even on fire. Oh, uh, we could drag him. It will, it will set him on fire, so that's probably worth doing. There's only these two left now. So we've got mind fire. We're not quite in range. So that's a kill, I think. Um, I mean that's pretty much can he can he make this guy? No, he can't make this guy vulnerable. I don't think. Go a bit closer, I suppose. Yeah, can't do. That's a kill. That was the last of them. Let's free those kids. I thank you. I don't know what they were going to do to us. Ah! Huh? What's going on? Hang on, we're here to help. I feel like these might not be good guys. If it's not Paul's toddlers causing trouble once again. Although I guess he's doctrine to you now. Oh god. He's killed. He's killed so many supers his mind is filled with. Oh, he loves it. Kids, you should just drop this. Let us rescue that poor child. They don't have long unless somebody helps. We can help them. Unfortunately, you cannot. You. This is all your fault. Ah, the fish that got away. I'll kill you. From there? I doubt it. We never finish with you, but don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities ahead. I'm gonna kill you for what you did to me. You said that already. That's the trouble with your type. All muscle, no charm to back it up. Nightjar, show these children what real power looks like. Okay. Stop them, but don't kill the capes. We can save them all regardless of how willingly they come. Okay, so a larger fight now. 
that's what we're saying. <laughs> okay, I think they know we're here as well. Um, but it gives us a chance to use some of these ultimates. Disarm Nightjars slash ultimate. Nightjar. Super Soldier. Dash Strike. Can be disarmed. Huh. Damage one. Let me do this. God, they got a lot of health, haven't they? Um, damage and disarm. Okay, well, let's try the disarm on them then. Did we do that? Oh, we've got to do it five times. Okay. But well, that was one. Um, she can move away, which might not be a bad idea. Maybe a bit of sort of nip in guerrilla tactics that's what I'm looking for um, hmm. I mean that's good to use isn't it Let's get in a little bit. Do this. We'll hit a couple of them. Uh, we'll move a bit more. And we'll do this one that gives us initiative, so we get another we get another turn basically. Uh, that'll do for now. Right, that was mind fire. Who I think we'll go focus on doesn't need to move. Uh, let's do a vulnerable on this one. And I think we... Let's do one of each. Let's do a normal one and then we'll do a knockback one. Oh, it's going to knock him into him. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Got his ultimate now. High damage to a single target at range. Uh, well, rather than this guy, he's only got one health left. Why do we do it on this guy? Okay. So we could be could be able to kill both of these here if I. Actually, if she goes there and does her move, she'll kill both of them. I'd like to disarm one, though, ideally. I think we just need to kill him, though, you know. Alright, we're going to do a teleport spin with a bit of knockback. Oh, wow. What? What? What was that? They're full health again. What's this, like an extra life or something? Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, well she can definitely disarm this one then. Yeah, we disarmed. Move on away for what it's worth. Wow, they all go now. Not sure exactly what we achieved there. All right, what the night jar's going to do? He's got his sword back. Shit. So what was the point of disarming them then? Alright, let's take a closer look at what this what all this stuff means. 
Heavy reduces the effect of push. Dash strike next turn. Targets all enemies in a facing direction, causing high damage. Can be disarmed. That's what we're disarming. Right. Okay. So we need to keep them disarmed, basically. Or kill them. Right. So whose turn is it? It's Mercurial who's down here now. That causes disarm, and that's at range three. Alright, so let's go here. We'll do the kit and disarm. And what does this do? Bit of knockback. She's already disarmed. Can she move somewhere else and disarm again, maybe? No. Unless she teleports, but then she won't have the action. All right, let's do that. Okay, not bad. Her ultimate. Mindfire increases mercurial speed by 50%. Ooh, okay. Nice, we'll do that. So she's back in the turn order, I think. Okay, uh, so that's the end of this turn, however. Um, oh, I think I need to click on her, don't I? There we go. Right, so she's in the turn order again. And we'll go to the next hero. Who is Weatherbane? I mean, it looks like, although they're not the night jars, it does look like we've got quite a nice little electrocution thing up opportunity there. So what's the range on that? Three. One, two. So I think if we're here, is that close enough? Yes. So we'll do that. What else can we do? We do a disarm. Can we get to a night jar? No. Oh, we can do this though. All the enemies in range. Who are we missing? Yeah, a couple of these guys. If we kind of move a bit here and do it. I know there's a couple we're not hitting, but we are killing quite a few of them. that. Not bad. Okay. Still got one action. Um, probably fairly limited in what we can do though. Ah, we'll just leave him there. Right, it's Mercurial's turn again now. So... He's already disarmed, but maybe we can disarm this one too. So if we go over to him. We'll do that. And... Get a knockback going, that should do a bit of damage to him as well, hopefully. Um, so we've got Mind Fire. We've still got this guy. We need to disarm him. I think maybe we do the focus thing again. He's already disarmed. Let's give him a barrage. Let's do that again. Okay, who have we got now? Um, so yeah, a better disarm thing here would be quite nice. Hmm, she can't get up there. T 
two delay might be quite nice. She needs to be fairly close to Mercurial then. She comes maybe here. We can hit him now. So I'm going to do one damage, but then we'll do a disarm as well. That's delayed him in the turn order. No, we can't do that. <laughs> we probably actually we might be able to if we can um, come two squares this way. He doesn't affect. Yeah, okay. Let's try the teleport spin. A bit of damage, anyway. Ooh, knocked him out of his thing. Z di disarmed him. D d is, that, is that what it does? Disarm. Oh, nice. Didn't even know that did that. Um, let's just bring it down a bit. Okay, so now we've got Mercurial again. Uh, we've got this guy's going to get another health bar, but we might be able to do something about this guy. Potentially. Might be able to knock him off there. Um, so if we just move a bit closer to rebound. We can maybe teleport to here. Right, and then let's just boot him off. Can we boot him off here? Why can't we do that? I got it highlighted. Right. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Don't know if that did any extra damage. I think it, I think it may have done. Uh, we'll leave her there, maybe. Okay, now they're all gonna go. Oh, he didn't get a, didn't get an attack. Yeah, Weatherbane's got lots of HP. You can target him if you like. Is he going to get a shot? No? Alright, here comes the night jar. Okay. And this guy as well. Ah, oh, they've got the KO. Ah! Oh, I've got to revive within two turns or he dies and we fail if he does. God damn it. It was the barrel that did that. Let's go straight there. How can we help him? Is it just this? Alright, that took an action. Each time a hero is revived, their max health is halved. Well, he's still got, he's got two health again now. Right, okay. So, she's looking a bit weak herself. Let's maybe just pull her back from the action a little bit. Alright, now it's weather vane. does this from here. It will, it will go between them. And maybe just punch this guy. Right, let's use his movement to sort of get down towards these n night jars a bit more. Right, now it's her. I think we should try and focus on this one. Okay, she needs to move a bit. Maybe there. Let's allow some knock back. And disarm. We can do the distract. It's not a kill. Shoot. Oh, how much is that? That's a couple of damage on the gun. This guy's going to shoot too. Oh, maybe he just moved. Oh, it's us. This guy didn't move. Do we put the delay on him? I can't remember. Maybe we did. Um... I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? What's this? Oh, we can actually do it. Alright, 
I think we'll focus. Or do we? Maybe we don't. Because, I mean, this guy's going to go down. Maybe we do. Right, so we get the barrage back so we can kill this guy. And then we can teleport to get out of this fire. Maybe go somewhere more like here. Right, now it's Mercurial. So we want to disarm. Like this. And... That's a disarm. Punched a bit of knockback. There we go. Almost got him down to a second health bar. Uh, I don't know how much movement, movement he's got, but let's pull her back. Oh no, she, if she gets shot, she'll, she's dead. Okay, maybe we'll just tuck her up here, maybe. Weather vane. If you can get rid of this guy, that'd be quite useful. Because again, if he gets shot, he's dead, but we can. Damage and knock back. That's a disarm. So let's do that. Yeah, he's disarmed. Let me just zap him. Alright. Okay, well we've got um, rebound as well. He's looking quite healthy. Where is mind fire? Oh, he's up there. Okay. Her ultimate series of powerful ranged attacks. Multiple enemies in an area. I can't do both. Let's do that here. Get okay, this guy on his second health bar. God damn, did she kill him? <laughs> um. Okay, I don't quite understand how the, then how that works, seeing as, um, yeah, I don't understand that, because I thought they had a second health bar. Maybe if you kill them before they can activate that, it's, I, I don't know, I'm speculating really. She's still got two ability, uh, the abilities left, which is nice. Maybe we do a backstab. And then we'll do the teleport thing. We might be able to destroy this weapons rack as well. I think we did. Um, okay, so I don't think he, he can kill anyone. He can do one damage. There we go. But that's it. So now we've got mind fire. So let's move you a bit closer. And then hopefully that's it. Nice. This ain't getting any easier, but at least we're done. Help me! That's what we're here for, kid. You're coming with us. Oh god, it hurts so much! Shit, are you okay? What did that to them? There's nothing you could have done, TJ. Guys. Oh my gosh, she's got so much speech. Oh, maybe it's him talking. I'd love to give you a moment to contemplate our amazing risk. Oh, time to scram. Ah, that was fun. I'm guessing that's probably the last um, level of the demo. Oh, you tried, TJ. I keep, just keep seeing the look in that kid's eyes just before they blew. Looking to us for help. You can't save everyone. In this war, people die. We can only hope to leave a worthwhile peace when the fighting is done. I never signed up for this. What happened to that kid anyways? What always happens to people like us? 
You either harness it or you lose control. What about your powers, Doc? You never mentioned. <laughs> that kid must have been really strong. The stronger you are, the less time you have until it all goes haywire. You make it sound like all keeps lose it in the end. Most do. You don't want to be around when it happens. Mission complete. And we did uh, three of the the doodads, the optional objectives, which is pretty cool. Got quite a lot of these SP now. We'd, obviously in the real game we'd be spending this. And dog's kicking off. There we go, that's the full demo. Thank you for playing the Capes demo. Experience the full game when it launches in early 2023. I mean, we're only what, three months away from 2023. Could be, you know, maybe four or five months away. Um, so you can replay in the demo, you can replay the missions with different heroes and team ups. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this actually. I really enjoyed this game. And it's um, one that, as I said at the beginning of the video, that um, I'll keep on my wish list. And uh, yeah probably a day one release for me I would think so yeah well there we go so thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this if you did then please do hit the like button on the video and consider subscribing to the channel as well that'd be amazing and in the meantime I'll see you again on Boring Dad Gaming bye for now <laughs>